Hi, welcome everybody to Worship Wednesday. I'm so glad that you're here today, whether you're tuning in live or whether you are re-watching this video. It is always an amazing time to worship our Father who is in heaven, who loves us so much. You can tell that I'm ready to worship. I pray that you are too. Speaking of prayer, let us start our worship off with some prayer. Dear Holy Father, thank you for this day because it is the day that you have made. I pray that we rejoice and be glad in it as it's written in the Psalms. And I pray that our worship isn't just singing songs, but it's being different. It's being a light in the world. Let us be known for being your hands and feet. We love you and we praise you and ask that you have this hand over the worship that we are going to bring to you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right. So last week, the sound was kind of funky. So I need you guys to let me know if the sound is still funky. Also, I'm low-key, high-key, very mad because I ordered in-ear monitors and an extender. Yeah, they, the extender is for something with a mic and the in-ear monitors don't have a mic, so it doesn't work. And I'm very sad about it. So next week, I'll probably have my in-ears in so I can hear a little better. So I'm going blind and I'm trusting you guys to let me know. Without further ado, let's begin. And all the people will say amen. I'm glad you're excited for worship, Maddie Caddy. singing with me. Give thanks to the Lord for his love never ends. And all the people said amen. Yeah! And all the people said amen. the people said hey, amen sometimes i say hey men i don't know why but all the people said amen hey men so fun fact it's got a fat old bar chord and an f sharp major and i'm still working on it but hey and the reason i'm so transparent with that people are like oh don't tell people you mess up hey it's okay to mess up we're worshiping god we're making a joyful noise so if i chunk on a chord on the guitar and I just want like you guys to know if any aspiring worship leaders, Madison, want to be a worship leader, hey, it's okay to mess up. 
just keep worshiping. Because God never lets go, even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, even if we are in the middle of the storm. God never lets go of us. We can have that blessed assurance because we know that God stays the same through the ages. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we know that if he never let go, 
in the Bible, in the stories that we read about, he will never let go in our present and in our future. Because he is a good God who stays the same through the ages. We can build our life upon him as our rock because he is the cornerstone. He is good. He is sturdy and just. Savior's love through the storm. He is Lord, Lord of all. When darkness seems to hide his face, I rest on him. stand on Christ, the solid rock. And a cornerstone isn't necessarily used as much because we can just pour concrete 
right? We're not laying stones. But think about how important, how important that cornerstone was when they were building. They needed to lay something to base everything else off of. Before there was rebar and concrete and all of our modern technologies, that was the most important piece. Christ is the foundation that we can build our faith. We can sing phrases because of Christ, because we have that faith in him. We can always count on him. He will never forsake us and he will never, ever reject us. sing for all of our days. Let me get my pick. It just flew oh, right out of my hands. Right as we were getting to that big part, I'm like, we're going. We're just going. We're praising. <clears throat> like I said, y'all, mistakes happen and they're okay because we're still praising because we know he is the name above all names. It's not our names above all names. I'm just a man. I make tons of mistakes, tons and tons and tons of mistakes. It ain't about me. It ain't about my musical ability, but my musical ability comes from God, comes from the creator of all things. We praise because of him, because he loves us. We love because 
he first loves us. Because God is so, so good. Have you ever thought about that? When you hear the churches where they say, God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. We're like, ha, 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 that's so fun. But think about it. Think about it. Really think about it. We sang a couple songs ago where I mentioned that God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is good all the time. He was good at the beginning of time. He is good and he will be good until eternity. So when we say God is good all the time, God is good for all time. Let's sing these praises to him.
to me. Dear Heavenly Father, we acknowledge your goodness. We know that you are the king of the universe and you are good. It is in your nature, it is in your character. For you can be nothing but good. You can be nothing but just. And you can be nothing but love. Let us never forget that, that even in our darkest day, even though we wrestle with sin, and even though we deal with the effects of sin in this world, they are not of you, for you are a good God. You are so good to us. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. We shout your praises. Let us love because you have first loved us, and let us build our lives upon you. Let us make you the cornerstone, the rock of our salvation. We love you and we praise you. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. I hope you've been blessed today. And I hope you've enjoyed Worship Wednesday. Have a blessed and amazing Wednesday, everybody. God bless.